Good morning everyone, today we're going to be talking about the skip gameplay feature which is going to be implemented in NGS version 2 which is happening on June 7th. But before we jump into all of that, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily so if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing I want to talk about is, of course, the official post over here. So they are splitting it into like three different categories. So there is going to be the NGS story progression ticket, which will allow you to skip the main story all the way up to version two. So you're basically skipping the entirety of version one story, which is the current story that we have available in the game right now. On top of that, there's going to be the class level 70 as well as the equipment set, which is going to get your level all the way to level 70 immediately, as well as give you some weapons and armors so that you're ready to rock and roll. And the last one is going to be the NGS version 1 all trainia explored which is going to give you all the skill points that you need so basically if you buy all three sets over here you're going to be caught up to the current content that we have right now however of course all of this comes out when version 2 of ngs is released which just so happens to increase our level cap to 75 we're going to have new gear we're going to have new monsters new story new everything so this set over here i'm personally not too bothered by it because you're not paying for an advantage at all you're simply just skipping all of version 1 maybe you just don't want to do it or maybe you're playing an alt on a different ship and you don't want to go through the entire process all over again and you're willing to drop a little bit of AC. However the main reason why I'm not bothered by this at all is because we're going to log out over here. As we can see here I'm going to select ship 4 and the reason why I'm using this account specifically is because this account is the free to play account so you guys know that there's no shenanigans going on since I have absolutely no AC to do anything fishy. So I'm going to go over here to create new character. We're just going to use the default look, go to simple creation, confirm. We're going to make this guy a uh, fighter, sure. And we're going to call him Saitama. We're going to lose his hair as he gets stronger later down the line. And we're going to click OK. So if you completed the story before, you're actually going to get prompted with this message right here. Confirm whether to skip main story. You can skip parts of the main story that you've already completed on another character. Please select where you would like to start the story. And you can literally skip all the way to chapter 5, by the way, guys. So we can begin at the prologue, that's Alio Town. We can go to chapter 1, that's Alio itself. Then we can go to chapter 2, that's Ratem, then Kavaris, then Stia. And if you want to skip directly to chapter 5 and go straight for Zavetto, you can do that. So I don't see the main issue on why everyone is freaking out going like, oh my god, it's gonna be pay to win, guys, because it's literally free. Like, as long as you've done the story before on one character, if you make another character, you're gonna be able to skip it. So it's not a big deal. Now, if Sega takes this away and then replaces it with that AC package, then we have a problem. But until then, Sega is still going to be in my good books. I'm going to be like, all right, that's cool. You know, maybe there is a new player that just wants to skip the story because they saw all the story on YouTube or their favorite streamer did a let's play and they watched through the entire thing. So they don't really care about the story and they want to just skip directly to chapter five so they can do so. I'm just going to show you over here what happens when you skip all the way to chapter five. So we're going to create Saitama over here we're gonna skip all the way to chapter 5 and let us take a look at what gear we get so here we are we spawned in alio town we got a bunch of dialogues and then we've also unlocked like a bunch of stuff over here let's just skip everything okay ran shut up stop talking to me oh zatir stop talking to me okay we're free now so let us turn on streamer mode first because uh, we're on ship 4 in town there's a lot of sus stuff that goes on around here but as you can see over here, the first things first, my battle power is 1912. If we look at my gear, I do have a Prim Knuckles. And if we look at my character's level, I am level 60. So that's not too bad overall. Um, now they're giving me a bunch of dialogue saying that you've unlocked a bunch of things. We immediately get head to the command room. That is actually the next quest. So if we go to our tasks over here, you see before the final battle, Kavar's independent partisan squad, as well as investigation of Nusim Plant. These are the quests that are available. If we go to complete, you see we've completed all of chapter one, all of chapter two, all of chapter three, and all of chapter four as well. So it's not that big of a deal. Don't worry, guys. You can literally skip this. The only thing that you don't get, at least from what I've seen, is gear. Like, I don't have any gear from this. I only have these prim knuckles. Uh, I am i don't know if we actually do get gear from talking around and doing all of these different side quests. I've never seen this guy before. Um, yeah, I'm guessing this is the fighter trainer or something? I don't remember seeing that guy, but it's fine, whatever. We'll just go to our class changer over here, 
everything automatically unlocks as you can see right here we can now change class we can add a subclass so we'll add in our force as a subclass boom so we're level 60 fighter level one everything else and then we can click on learn class skills and you can see right here i've got 47 skill points ready for me to allocate to whatever i want remember the skill points are a count bound so if you do it on one character unlocks it for all of your other characters including characters on different ships so it's very very nice so you don't need to worry about this once you've done it once but that does not mean that you should buy that package this package over here ngs version 1 ultrania explored is an absolute scam do not buy this if you need to find all the trainings and you're having trouble please literally ask any streamer any veteran player anyone in the game and people are more than happy to help you do this because it takes less than five minutes the veteran player is just going to be the leader of the party and he's just going to warp you all over across the map on planet alpha and you're going to complete all the training us super super quickly and you'll get all of your skill points so please 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 do not spend your ac on this even if it's like 100 ac i personally would not buy it because you can literally unlock all of these trainings extremely easily and for those who are really worried about gear you literally can just wait for any seasonal event to pop up you talk to the seasonal lady okay she's got a lot of dialogue shut up and once you finish her extremely lengthy dialogue, you've got exchange system points over here, and you can literally just pick up whatever weapon you want over here. Now, there is a level requirement. It does require level 63. We're level 60 at the moment, but literally once you finish the main quest or the first dialogue quest, you're going to level up and then you're going to be able to get it. Another thing you can also do is, of course, do guidance quest over here. So a guidance quest will give you a butt ton of EXP, as you can see right here. I don't know how many zeros that is. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's actually 10 million EXP, which will get you all the way to max level. I'm just gonna accept it just for the heck of it, just to show you. You're gonna accept this. He's gonna be like, oh, good choice, blah, blah, blah. A lot of talking. Gonna tell you where to go to class counter, and we're gonna literally go to the class counter right here. As you can see, there's a little symbol. Watch my level. I'm gonna go from level 60 to level 70 in one fell swoop. And boom. Okay, no, not level 70. I'm level 65. Okay, I grew five levels. But nevertheless, that's good enough already in order to actually use the event weapons. So we can hop over here. And now we can go to exchange shop and we can equip whatever weapons we want to use. Let's say that we want to use our knuckles over here. They're already augmented. They're already limit broken. Everything is all good. You buy them for 10,000 seasonal points. 10,000 seasonal points will take you like three minutes in killing mobs outside. We can now equip them and bada bing, bada boom. Now now look at that our battle power is now 2496 you just save yourselves ten dollars or whatever they're going to charge for the weapon package or the equipment package there's literally no reason for you to buy it and if sega wants to put it in good for them great but as a regular player there is absolutely no reason that we should be panicking because we could just do everything in the game, okay? You can do everything for free without any of the hassle. The only reason why you might want to buy all of those is simply because, uh, you know, you're just really lazy and you don't care about people's guides and you don't watch YouTube and you're not subscribed to my channel and uh, you like to spend money. Then sure, buy the packages if you want. But literally, if you want to save the money, just watch my videos, watch my channel, hit that subscribe button because you can literally achieve everything those packages offer for free in the game right now, super easily. Okay. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.